Hello world, it's John Pinto, your roving realtor, Bon Vivant video blogger. And uh, we're going to talk today uh, about red tag uh, with uh, Bob Johnson. And uh, we will have Rafael Batanzas on the call too to help later on. And um, uh, Bob, uh, you know, for me, uh, red tag occurred, uh, you know, on uh, Black Friday at Macy's when they had their red tag sales. <laughs> Um, but, uh, most recently in the last 47 years, especially in the last few years where I've been shopping online and not subjecting myself to those red tag sales, um, red tag would normally come up in most real estate practitioners, uh, business when you have, uh, the sale of either a vacant house Mm -hmm. or a house that becomes vacant, owner number one uh, turns off uh, PG&E, the gas mm -hmm. is turned off, owner number two, it calls PG&E and asks them to turn the gas back on. PG&E, of course, says we cannot do that unless somebody's there to open it up for us. And um, so, and by the way, we can go there either four hour window in the morning or four hour window in the afternoon. So we're to the wise, uh, do not have the prior owner turn off the PG&E, call PG&E right. and have them read the damn meter. Uh, okay, right. so, so uh, PG&E comes out, they look at the forced air furnace and they see that the combustion chamber is cracked there's uh, carbon monoxide i guess being emitted from the combustion chamber and oh oh boy you've got a brand new house that's red tagged with the forced air furnace uh they turn it off because it is unsafe Correct. so i'll let you run with that using that common red tag as an intro into red tags in general right well a great example and yes uh, we highly recommend um, that no seller turn off the utilities. You just transfer them over to the new buyer upon the sale. But we also understand that there are those situations, as John mentioned, uh, the home could be vacant for a myriad of reasons. Uh, death of the, the owner uh, could be a job transfer and they have already gone and they thought they were gonna to try to keep the property maybe as a second home, and then they decide they don't want to. And so they turn the utilities off and go through the process of sale. But as John mentioned, when you do that and systems cool down, he mentioned the heater, the same thing that can occur with a water heater. Um, once those systems cool down, then that metal has a tendency to crack and there become issues. And now that heater in this case is not working properly at the time a home warranty goes into effect because it's been shut down. We haven't had a chance either during a walkthrough or maybe you did a walkthrough and everything was fine or you did an inspection with home guard and everything was fine. And then the utilities got shut off. And right when they're turned back on, as John mentioned, Utility declares it unsafe. That's what the red tag means. It's an unsafe system. And warranty companies, when we go out in those situations, that's not a covered item. And it's not covered because that situation occurred before the new buyer moved into the home. Home guard, we chose to give an option for those situations to try to protect the client. And that is our red tag option. So if the utility company comes out and does red tag a system that is covered under a warrant, the warranty, then we will still service that heater or that water heater, whatever was red tagged, um, and try to take care of the problem. Bob, uh, please impart to us other examples of red tags. Well, the utility company is looking for what is safe and what is not safe. So they're going to look at uh, appliances. They're going to look at your gas stove. They're going to be looking at the water heater, the heaters, and the other items that pertain to uh, safety issues. And they could red tag any one of them. 
um, if they are not safe for uh, the buyer moving in. Uh, I mentioned the stove. Obviously, there are emergency gas shutoffs. There are things that can become unsafe, and that's why you would have a red tag. Whether or not those shutoffs would be directly related, like your example, John, of a heat exchanger, that actually the metal cools down because there's no more you know, pilot light running, and it actually cracks the heat exchanger, and now the carbon monoxide's going in, it doesn't come into play. Um, but there's a lot of other ways that a utility, um, or excuse me, a uh, appliance could become unsafe. Um, a stove, for example, in the move could be jostled and a line crack. Uh, the relief valve that's on that um, gas valve, something could be knocked to the point that there's an issue with it, making it unsafe. So there's a lot of different things that could occur um, that the utility would deem we need to red tag this until it is fixed or replaced, and then we'll come out and turn on the system. So you've mentioned uh, many failures on systems dependent upon natural gas. Are there any other red tags that people would put home warranty claims in for that are not gas appliance related? You know, I've only come across in, in my career um, gas related, uh, the systems that are that. As you mentioned in your, your right, John, the, the furnace combustion chamber being cracked, there's carbon monoxide that can make people sick. Um, other gas leaks not only can cause um, illness, but they can cause explosions. And so one item along these lines, if you have a red tag option with Home Guard to cover you in situations like this, there's some additional time that takes place for us to address the issue, not because our technicians need extra time, but once the system is replaced, let's say it's the furnace that needs to be replaced because of that um, carbon monoxide and that cracked heat exchanger, to get the red tag off of the house, the utility company has to come back out and inspect. And so that takes some additional time. Very good. So uh, how long have you had this uh, red tag uh, home warranty coverage in play? Home Guard has had red tag option now for a few years. So it is something that, uh, and I'm glad we're talking about it today, and not all warranty companies do have it. But if there is that situation that you're doing a transaction as a real estate agent, those listening, or if you're a buyer or a seller and you know this situation is going to come up, please make sure you try to put the red tag option on your warranty so the warranty has some extra value in your home purchase or sale. Well, obviously a very obscure subject, home warranty coverage for red tagged items post close of escrow but if you are the victim of uh having pg e red tag one of your appliances it could be uh, very stressful and definitely impede your ability to, for quiet enjoyment of your property correct because it all happens right when you move in when you're mm -hmm. trying to do everything else on the moving in process and you have to deal with this additional issue indeed so, Rafael, if uh, anyone has any questions or wants to order roof termite home inspection, how do they contact you? Absolutely. I'll be happy to, you know, have a, a conversation or you can text me or email me. My direct cell phone line is 707-616-8762. Also, you could go online at homecar.com and you could make, place an order online as well as find any other information, we have blogs, we have information on termites, roof inspections, as well as on warranty. Okay, so there you have it. Everything that you could ever want to know about red tags. No, I take that back. There's a lot more that we could talk about <laughs> with red yes. tags. I think we covered the gas appliance part of it, but there's other things that could get uh, red tagged. So, uh, Bob, thank you for imparting that information. Uh, Rafael, thank you for coordinating the video, and thank you all for watching, and we will see you on the next video.